Hi guys, Rich Harrington here. I'm excited about a brand new light from the folks at LumCube. It is their new panel mini and it's quite cool. Now I'm actually shooting this interview using its big brother, the regular LumCube panels, but I've been looking for a light like this. First off, it's super affordable. Coming in at under 60 bucks, this is super easy to add to your kit. It's actually about the size of a deck of cards and it still has all the great features of its big brother. Now, this light is cool because it has tremendous battery life and it is a bi-color light, which means it's very versatile. Now, when you open up the box, what do you get? It's pretty straightforward. So inside, you're gonna find four major pieces besides the instructions and warranty. There's the light itself, and it's included in a silicon cover that offers diffusion, as well as a cable and a shoe mount. So what do you get? Well, first off, what I love about this light is how flexible it is in lighting. On the side of the light, you've got a great simple switch, and it's really easy, it's just right there. That switch allows you to adjust the brightness in very fine increments. You can go from one to 5% to 10, 15, 20, et cetera, all the way up to 100% brightness. And with just a push of the button, you can run and switch between the two colors in the bicolor light, letting you pull off color temperatures that are between 3200 and 5600 degrees Kelvin, which makes this light really flexible when it has to be combined with other lights or available light, such as ambient light. Now, what's really cool here is the panel on the back. It is an intelligent LCD display. And what it tells you is not just the color temperature or the brightness, but it calculates how much time you have left on this light. Obviously, when you're shooting at lower powers, it's gonna last longer. But if you start to bump it up, that's gonna take more battery power. So it's really cool to know if you're trying to time a shoot or you need to have light left over for a certain time period, how high can you go? It will automatically adjust and calculate the correct runtime of what you can expect from the light in the current temperature. The light itself is really easy to charge because it just takes a USB-C cable. This means you can charge it on a laptop or using a lot of cell phone chargers. And because it's USB-C, you can even power the light if the battery's gone dead, effectively plugging it in and getting an electrical outlet using standard cables that you can use with a lot of your consumer electronic devices. Now, this light is very lightweight, super easy to pack, very small, but doesn't sacrifice features. It is still made from a nice metal, very solid, and we've got dual quarter 20 mounts, one on the bottom and one on the side. This works really well because it makes it easy to attach. I've used lots of different ways of mounting this. I've attached it to a platypod using a gooseneck, or you could just use a regular gooseneck that's attached to another surface. You can use clamps. I've used small portable tripods like you would with a smartphone, or attach the camera mount that's also included for the hot shoe, and you can easily attach it to any video or still camera that gives you that hot shoe that you normally would attach a flash to. This makes it great for run and go video type lighting. Now, beneath the silicone gel here, you've got built-in white diffusion. So those LEDs are softened nicely. Instead of being too over the top, this really diffuses the light quite nicely. And if you need to go further, just slip on that cover there, and it's gonna do a great job. And what I like is that there's a little bit of separation there, so you don't have to worry about the light getting too hot because there's a built-in spacer here. This way, the plastic's not gonna melt, and it's silicone, so it's very stretchy and easy to slip on and off. You can just take that and slip it in really quick like so. Boom, and you're in, and take it right back off. No tools, easy operation. Now, the light itself offers 60 high power LEDs, and they're bi-color. Now, it's not 60 white or 60 gold, it's pretty much an even number of each, but you can roll between those to dial in what you need. One of the things I really like about this light though is how easy it is to control. Now, I already mentioned that with just the push of a button, you can switch between adjusting brightness and adjusting color temperature, but let's talk about that button for a moment. 
One of the things that's really frustrating is that lights sometimes get turned on accidentally in your bag or if you got this in your pocket. And this is small enough to slip right into a shirt pocket. Just don't put it through the wash. Now, with a lot of these lights, if you just bump the power button or hit something in your pocket, it turns on and the battery's dead. This light is different. It takes a good full three second push before that light's gonna kick on. And same thing, a three second push before it turns off. This makes it really easy to make sure you're deliberately turning the light on or off without any accidental discharge. Now, the size, perfect, 3.6 inches by 2.2 inches. Without the silicone case, just a little bit thicker than credit cards, super easy. If you need to use this with the silicone case, it's about the size of a deck of cards. And that means that it's easy to put in your camera bag and easy to travel with. Now, I've been a big fan of Loom Cube since the very beginning. I've owned their lights and have used them on all sorts of shoots. What's great is that they're durable and I really like the company that stands behind them. And if you're stuck at home or you need to be lightweight because you travel a lot, these lights are very versatile, super flexible, and at less than 60 bucks, perfect. Now, they are a great companion to the traditional Loom Cube panels, and if you need to build out a more complete lighting set, I'd look at adding both to your kit. For Photo Focus, my name's Rich Harrington, and I invite you to check out our website at photofocus.com, where you'll also find a link to pick up this light, and you can check out a detailed written review as well. Thanks for watching.